Father, as we come to this moment, we know that it's because of your blessings, your will, your plan that you brought Brady and Lauren together. God, what a beautiful night. When I saw you standing there Under the stars I knew it wouldn't be the last time Brady and Lauren, in just a few moments, you're going to publicly express your love and your commitment to one another as we join you in the sacred relationship of marriage. Lauren, I've seen you grow from a baby to a beautiful young woman. I've listened to your grandfather talk about how great you are. He was right. And I know this is a day that you've dreamed of and a day that you've looked forward to. You also have been blessed to see what it means to have a wife and mother modeled before you. If I said Brady, it's been my privilege to uh, watch you grow from a, a baby to a man. I'm proud of the man that you are. And I know personally that you have seen in your own life what it means to be a father, what it means to be a husband. And as you prepare for this day, I know that your plan and your commitment is to honor the legacy of your dad. Brady and Lauren, gathered in this place, I ask you to repeat the following vows after me. I, Brady, take thee, Lord, I, Brady, take thee, Lord, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Lauren, repeat after me. I, Lauren, take thee, Brady, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death to us. Can we have your rings, please? both of you how very important that your rings are. They're a daily reminder of today of the promises that you made to one another. That you would allow no one or nothing to come between the two of you. They're a statement to the world that you've committed your life and your heart to another. So Brady, take your ring and place it on the third finger of Lauren's left hand this ring to Lauren as a token of your love for her. Lauren, will you accept this ring as a token of Brady's love for you? Will you wear it as a symbol of your love for him? Okay, Lauren, you can take your ring and place it on the third finger of Brady's left hand. That's the right one. You're good. Lauren, do you give this ring to Brady as a token of your love for him? Brady, will you accept this ring as a token of Lauren's love for you? I will. And will you wear it as a symbol of your love for her? Yes, I will. Okay. You can join hands. Brady and Lauren, having come to this place and shared your solemn marital vows, and having sealed those vows by the giving and receiving of rings, I do now in the presence of your friends and family, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit pronounce you husband and wife. What God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Brady, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends and family, Mr. and Mrs. Brady Beard.
compromise 